we will now discuss respiration in frogs. Respiration, though the main respiratory structure are lungs, but still plant, uh, frogs show three types of respiration. So the first is cutaneous respiration, that is respiration through skin. And we know that when a respiratory surface is to be uh, discussed, the characteristics which must be seen are it should be thin, it should be moist, it should be highly vascular. So the skin is thin, moist, it is kept moist by the mucus glands due to mucus glands and it is highly vascular. That means it is richly supplied with the blood vessels so that exchange of gases can easily take place. And that is why the skin is a very, very important respiratory structures in case of, of, of frogs. Cutaneous respiration takes place all the time, whether the animal is in water or on land or even during hibernation and aestivation takes place all the time. All the time when we say that means on land, in water, during hibernation and aestivation. On the contrary, I would be saying here, we should be writing something that during hibernation and aestivation, it is only cutaneous respiration. That means when the animal is hibernating or aestivating, it is only cutaneous respiration which is taking place. So, it takes place through skin respiration or gaseous exchange through skin all the time. The next is pulmonary respiration. Pulmonary respiration means when respiration is through lungs. Through lungs. And this is when the frogs are on land. When on land land. So, when the animals are on land, when these frogs are on land, lungs are also helping res in respiration, skin is also helping in respiration. And the third is called buccopharyngeal respiration. This is through the mucous membrane of the buccopharyngeal cavity of buccopharyngeal cavity. Again, this membrane is helping in gaseous exchange. So, it should fulfill all the basic requirements. So, this membrane is also thin. It is highly vascular, richly supplied with blood vessels and it is moist because it is a mucous membrane. That means, when the frogs are on land, respiration is by uh, lungs, pulmonary, and this is when they are on land. So, when they are on land, respiratory structures are lungs, buccopharyngeal cavity, and the skin. When the animals are in water, it is only skin. When the frogs are hibernating or aestivating, it is only the skin. So, skin is helping in respiration or gaseous, gaseous exchange all the time. But whenever they are on, uh, on land, lungs help it. And lungs are very well developed paired structures. So, lungs are very well developed and paired structures. And they are present 
in the upper part of the trunk. Inhalation, exhalation is the normal breathing thing which is there. So they inhale, exhale exactly in similar way as we do. So there are three types of respirations which we have to talk about whenever we talk of respiration in frogs or amphibians, especially animals like frogs and toads.